Hey Vera City, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Vera Moore, and I'm back with another reaction video. Guys, I'm super excited. Today I'll be reacting to Talk Islam. My first time reacting to them on this channel. And this is Dear Mom, spoken word, official video. Dear Mom. So this is like talking to your mom. Okay. Dear Mom, or a letter to your mom. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm super excited to get into this one. But before we get started, we have some amazing people watching us for the very first time. If you are new here, hello, I'm Vera. I do reaction videos. We vibe to different artists on here. React to different songs from all over the world. If it's something that you love, why not join Vera City? Hit the subscribe button below, turn on the post notification bell so that you can always be the first person to know whenever a new video drops. And that's guys. Let's get right into it. To the woman that loved me before I was born. Wow. To the woman that held my heart long before it had formed. Wow. To the woman who was left sleepless from dusk until dawn with weakness upon weakness for nine months long. Telling herself Ooh. it would all be worth it soon as she rest assured For when she finally made it through to that hospital ward It was Ooh, love at first sight The second she saw Me I mean she's a type that would give up her only slippers Just to make sure that my toes were warm See, she would always favor me Despite the fact she always needed it more She would wake up early every single morn to stand freezing in the cold, hanging up the. Oh my God. This is really, really deep. So deep. Oh my goodness. Wow. I wasn't prepared for this. I wasn't prepared. Hmm. Hmm. This is really emotional and deep. Let's go on. Clothes we had worn, standing at the stove for hours, cooking bowls of food we would oh swarm. And whenever we weren't home, her heart would be torn. I mean, she could never no. ever sleep whenever we were gone. She would stay up all oh night next to the phone, although I would never call. Though she sends me text messages, please, I can't sleep. Just let me know that you're safe and secure. And whenever I was sick. Wow. The fact that I can actually relate to that, that <laughs> this just made me realize that I've really taken my mom for granted. The many times she would call me, she just wants to know where I am. I'm like, Mom, why are you always disturbing me? Why are you always calling me every time? Like, and that's what you just said. Like, she can't sleep. Most times she can't sleep. If we're not at home or if we go out and she's calling us and we're not picking up, you know. It's just crazy that I'm just realizing that now that I've really been taking my mom for granted. Wow. This is really emotional. Let's go on. She would always know what was the cure. I mean, the love she gave to me was the best medicine that was pure. A prescription of tea, honey, and handmade lemonade. What more could I ask for? Alhamdulillah. Oh, praise to the Lord. You did it all for me and not once ever asked for a reward. I mean, I still remember the nights when I was small. I could never go to sleep until I would call to you out from the bedroom door. Ghatini were both seen. Tuck me in and kiss me, please, and you would always be there for sure. See the love you gave to me for all these years, it's impossible to ignore. I love you, Yahuma. And I'm sorry I've never told you all this before. I'm sorry for everything, Mum. I'm sorry for it all. I'm sorry for leaving you as soon as you taught me how to crawl. I'm sorry for saying oof every time you would ask me to complete a simple chore. It doesn't make me less of a man to give you a hand whenever your arms get sore. I'm sorry again and again for all the promises I fell short. And I'm sorry I can't give you the life you wish for. 
the car you dreamt of and the countries you wish to explore but most of all I'm sorry for all the pain that I caused for the nights you didn't sleep and for all those missed calls for all the fights we had and for all the broken walls the dirt crying there's no way you would watch this and you wouldn't even cry because everything he's saying is just so realistic it's as if he can see my heart my mom doesn't even sleep like she's always praying for all of us all our children every night and day she is always praying for each and every one of us to be successful in life. Yet we don't even appreciate her. Let's go on. Dirty room with the messy floors and for the clothes that weren't packed back into their drawers and for all the sacrifices you made that I never once ever recalled. Like when you became my mother and meant that you had to move away from yours. I know how much you love her and miss her and I know it cuts you deep like a sword But if it was up to me, I'd let you see her as much as I can afford So I promise to make it up to you And become the son that you've always adored From now on So forgive me Forgive me for it all Forgive me for everything I've ever done Ever since I was young, stupid and dumb Just looking to have fun Dear mum I love you, I love you I promise to never put anybody else above you Nor let anybody come in between And even if I get married I promise you will always be my queen Because there's no words in this world that can let you know how much you really mean To me Nor is there anywhere in this world that I could ever repay you So instead I pray every day for you That Allah has mercy on you The same way you had mercy on me and I have one last request for you before you leave, please. Since Allah put paradise beneath your feet, please ask Allah to let paradise be the place where we finally meet. Amen. Wow. Oh my God. This was really, really so emotional. Wow. This is really, really emotional. So emotional. Wow. Right now, I am so speechless. I don't even know what to say. A mother's love. Most times we don't we don't value our mothers. We don't value them. We don't appreciate them. <sighs> I remember anytime I'm going out or anytime I'm traveling, my mom would always call me and be like, Where are you? Have you gotten there? I'm also I'm like, ah, too so much she's always calling me. Stop calling me like I, I always took her for granted and I'm just realizing that now I always took her for granted like she's always praying for us always wishing the best for us sometimes she wouldn't even eat she would want me to eat she would just want me to be fine to be okay oh my god after watching this video, it just gave me those goosebumps, those chivas down my spine. And I feel this is this is my own sign to start appreciating my mother. I don't know about you. If you've not been appreciating your parents, your mom, this is a sign for you to start doing that now. We need to really change and be better 
our moms deserve better they deserve better they've been through a lot they've been through a lot and it won't be fair if we just don't appreciate them hmm. this was really emotional what do you guys think about this video drop your comment down below i really enjoyed this if you enjoyed this video as much as i did give it a huge thumbs up and if you're new here join vera city hit the subscribe button below turn on the post notification bell so that you can always be the first person to know whenever a new video drops and that's guys i'll see you in my next one bye